For the PE exam, you always need to know why the output power of a generator is always equal to zero when the internal and terminal voltage are in phase. Notice the sine delta term in the power delivered formula. Delta is the electrical torque angle. It's the difference between the internal voltage angle minus the terminal voltage angle. When these two angles are equal, delta will always equal zero. What's the sine of zero? That's also zero. Zero times anything? That's also zero. This makes the output power of the generator equal to zero when the two voltages are in phase. And what's the only way these two voltages can be in phase? Well, looking at the generator circuit, the only way for this condition to exist is when the generator is running, but there's no load connected to it. According to Kirchhoff's voltage law, the internal voltage EO is the sum of the voltage drop EX plus the terminal voltage E. When there's no load, there's no voltage drop. When there's no voltage drop, the terminal voltage E equals the internal voltage EO. This is known as open circuit or no load conditions. And of course, the output power of the generator is equal to zero since there's no load connected to it for it to deliver power to. And that's why 